Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Since last time, I rested up at the inn, got everyone up to full, and I also bought another stack of healing herbs. I think 27 should be good enough to get us through here. So, let's head on to the well, or into the well, which evidently is not an ordinary well, and rescue the children here. Oh, hey! How's it going, Ray? What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I kind of heard about that. I guess it's just the one kid, then. Some well. You got a staircase down here and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, if you move, Ray, I can shoot the monster. That would be nice. But, all right. Let's see. We got a giant imp. That is, I have no idea how to pronounce that. God do you, God do, got you, I don't know. But anyway, okay, with these guys, what I like to do is I like to have Nina cast slow on them. Because this guy's going to take two rounds for me to kill. And if I get slow to work on him, I can probably kill him before the second, before he gets his attack in the second round. Now, one thing about these guys, and actually quite a few enemies have, is a combo attack, which for some reason was translated as Egg Beater in the first game. I don't know what Egg Beater has to do with a combo, but there it is. So anyway, let's see. Okay, once you've gotten slow on the guy, then I'll just go with Frost for some good damage there. Hopefully I can get maybe a crit or a counter attack to help finish this guy off. If not, then someone may die. But I do have an ammonia, at least. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, he only attacked once. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah, so sometimes it works. Sometimes not so much. These guys don't have very much magic resistance. So the odds of getting slow to go through are pretty good, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? And I'm not going to get into a but thou must situation. It is. You can't advance the plot without going with Ray to kill all the monsters. By the way, speaking of slow reducing the agility of enemies, from what I heard, the agility up spell, or whatever the equivalent of that one is, uh, that one is actually bugged in this game, so it doesn't work. So, slow, that's pretty much all you got. And we can't leave with Ray fighting the monster there. And for some reason, we can't dash around here, even in the fan translation. I don't know what's going on with that, but okay. But anyway, in this part, we got these... I don't know if they're turtles or tortoises, but... Well, they're swinging around here, and we gotta use them like hovering platforms. Because as we all know, JRPG protagonists cannot swim. Well, okay, they could swim in Final Fantasy X. And probably a number of other JRPGs that I'm not remembering. But anyway, we get another healing item there. That one restores 120 HP to all party members. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, we don't usually get access to multi-targeted healing for quite some time. Regular healing spells, like the ones we got right now, now those are single targeting. Whoa, I almost missed my trip. Now, for this part, I want to wait instead of hopping over to that other turtle so I can get up here. And for our prize, for our patience, we get an amulet. Our, well, not our first accessory. We got fishing poles earlier. But, well, it's still a good accessory. It protects you against the curse status, if I recall correctly. Which, the curse status drops your condition there to sick or something or other like that. If you know precisely how the condition status or the condition stat works, let me know. I don't know exactly how it improves or gets reduced, like other than using items that can manipulate it. And I'm not even 100% sure what it does. I mean, I think it affects your crit rate, and I think it might affect your ambush rate too, or preemptive rate, or something or other. I couldn't find any information that was really precise 
on how condition works. But anyway, we're all, well, pretty close enough to fall. Okay, they're turtles. There you go. Unless the translator got it wrong. I'm an engineer, not a biologist. For boss time! Against one of the toughest bosses in the game. Gancharo, or also known as Terrapin. Let's see, for this fight, let's see, let's just go with our regular physicals there. And now, Gancharo has quite a bit of magic resistance, but he's not quite immune to everything. So I would really like to get slow to go through on this guy if I can. Because, yeah, as you can see, he's got a lot of multi-targeting damage, and most of my party members are not fast enough to heal in time. So if this works, I can just stick single-targeted healing. If not, then I'm going to need to burn my... Where is it? My vitalizer there, so that way I can guarantee my survival here. Let's try again with slow. One of the interesting things about the game is the fire breath you saw there is, if I recall correctly, it's actually bugged to be non-elemental. Same thing with like ice breath too. There's a whole bunch of attacks that are like that that you would think would be elemental, but they're not. And so far I am getting really unlucky. Ah, wow. Hmm, that is... I am probably dead. Hmm. Well, I desperately need Nina to stay alive. So, let's see. Ryu can prob might be able to survive. I don't know if he can, but we'll see. And... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Okay, yeah. Let's hit... Or, wait, what was I doing? Okay, yeah, Ryu. Oh, wait, you got your AP. Yeah, just heal yourself there. Okay, let's have you heal Lin. Lin, heal Nina. That way, if someone dies, it'll be Sten there, who, at least at this point, isn't my best character on DPS. Later in the game, he's much more useful. Not that he's useless here. He's just... He just doesn't have the weapons right now. But, yeah, about halfway through the game, he becomes obscenely good. And even before then, he has quite a bit of use, too. Even with his fire magic and stuff. Nuts. Okay. Well, at least he didn't use fire breath again. Sometimes you just get really unlucky, and he'll just spam that over and over and over again. Yeah, I'm almost out of AP for you, too, huh, Nina? Well, I'll see what I can do. I do have that Wisdom Seed to restore some of her AP, but she'd take some damage, too, from that. For some reason. And, yeah, you see that, what was that, Spirit Wave attack he had? Yeah, it, like, takes control of one of your characters to attack yourself, but that's negligible damage, so I'm not even worried about that at all. Man! I would think I would get it to work by now. Usually it's not quite that inaccurate. But I guess we might as well just go with our regular physical attacks. One of the other things that makes this guy pretty hard is he just has a lot of HP. So we have plenty of time to get slow to work on this guy. Well, since no one else is taking a whole lot of damage. I think I can safely use the the Wisdom Seed if I need to, which if I want to get slow on this guy, I would. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go attack and have Nina use her Spirit Command to regenerate some of her AP. Even as inaccurate as some debuffs can be at times like this, I still think it's worthwhile to get slow on, or at least try to get slow, because Nina's not going to be dealing that much damage anyway. So you might as well have her use slow and try to make your survival much more consistent. Okay, let's see. I need Lin and Nina to survive, so let's see. 
Okay, let's do this that way. Okay, we go like that. Gotta get that AP back. Yeah, this is why I bought three stacks of all those herbs, because he just spams that over and over again. That's okay. We're okay. We're okay. Fine with that. Although I might want to use the Wisdom Seed on Nina. Or I could get my AP restored right now. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Let's go like that. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some attacks in. I was thinking about maybe using an herb on Nina there. But I think we'll be fine. He's not going to one-shot her with Fire Breath anyway. And, in all likelihood, use Spirit Wave there. What is that thing on your head, anyway? The monster. It's like a seashell or something. Hey, hey, all right! Finally got it to work. Now, anyone can get some damage going here. Okay, hmm. Let's go... I want someone to heal up Nina. So, yeah, why not have Sten do that? And now we can join in on the fun with our Frost spell. So yeah, the Spirit or Will command for Nina, depending on your translation, that if your AP is low enough, you'll regenerate 16 AP. Although, I think if you have 0 AP, you get 24 out of it. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And even Nina can outspeed the boss now. Unfortunately, though, I need everyone to be able to heal themselves again in order to guarantee my survival. But now that we got slow going, it's okay. Even if he spams Fire Breath over and over again, sooner or later, he will get stop and get tired of that and move on. So, yeah, he's not immune to the debuffs. Just got a lot of resistance. Yeah, the way magic resistance works, if I recall correctly, it's based on your wisdom stat divided by 32. And I think that gets truncated then. And that determines your magic resistance stat, or some call it a magic susceptibility stat, or whatever. So basically, the more wisdom you got, the more magic resistance you got. I'm not worried about that. Or maybe I should be really worried about that. Nuts. Save your crits for the enemy there, Ryu. And yeah, almost out of AP again. Now, such is the life of being a black mage. There you go. I knew you could do it, Ryu. Man, we're not getting much of anything going here. Ow! Quit it. Hmm. Yeah, let's have Sten heal Ryu. I'm all out of AP for Ryu, so I can't even have him use Zone Magic to heal himself. Oh, I suppose I should have mentioned it earlier, but if you got that... What was it? That damage item that was, like, at Mount Futabi there... Of the firecracker. If you have that still, this would probably be the best point to use it because of how much HP this guy has compared to everything else, really. But I decided to ban that to make life a little more dangerous and interesting. Yeah, Frost is pretty much your most efficient spell for damage at this point for Nina. I mean, as far as, like, damage per AP that you'll get out of it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna play it conservative at this point because I've already gotten slow to work. And by the way, debuffs last for the duration of the battle. So, yeah, that really helps out a lot. Hey, hey, all right. Wow, that guy took a while to kill. Uh, game? Can we get out of here, please? Thank you. Hmm. 
Hmm. Everyone seems to be gone. I wonder if those monsters would be gone, too, if I didn't go out of my way to kill them. I think they would be. Why is this thing shaking? What, is that guy a load-bearing boss? Hey, how's it going? We took care of the monsters. Found the kid. Oh! Why is the cave going to be flooded? This doesn't make any sense at all! Whoa! Hey, hey, nice force field or something? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There are all those uh, adults that came down here to rescue the kid. But can we rescue them all? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.